So this video will summarize the whole process from A to Z of how to get yourself your preferred admission and funding if you so desire in the United States. Now, some of the things I'm going to discuss will be applicable to other countries outside the United States as well. So let's go. The first thing you need to do is to be clear about the degree uh, or the course of study. And for PhD students, I always advise that apart from just looking at the course of study, you should also start thinking about the kind of research that you will be interested in during your PhD. That's specifically for PhD students, but master's students are encouraged to do that as well. Next is to decide on the potential universities that you can apply to. I usually advise that you create a list of at least five universities that you can potentially apply to. I'm not saying you must apply to all five, but at least to get you started in the process. Now I have made videos of how to do a quick university search or a quick um, supervisor or advisor search on this channel. And you can see the videos in the description below. So the next thing you should do is to start reviewing the admission requirements for your chosen program. Now, if you are looking for funding, funding information should be on the department's web page. So if you can't really find this on the department's web page on how they usually fund uh, their students, uh, that's some sort of red flag that you will probably not get funded uh, for your master's or PhD. Now, if you find that information, they will describe how to potentially get it if you have to connect with a professor or not. That will be, should be described on the department's webpage. Now, at some point, I always advise that you make sure that you, the university you are trying to apply to uh, is one of the top funded universities in the US. Uh, so that's one of the universities that actually gets enough grants to uh, sponsor students. And I've started making videos on how to, or uh, the universities that are top funded universities in each state of the United States. And you can see a sample of such video in the description below. Now you have your university and you have reviewed the admission and funding requirements. What you should do now is to start putting together the documents required for admission into your chosen department or university. And of course, you should also start preparing for any required exams, which is usually around GRE or GMAT. And for international students, sometimes you would need to provide uh, an evidence of English proficiency, uh, like a, a TOEFL exam or an IELTS. If you are looking for programs that do not require GRE, we have some videos on that as well, presenting some programs that do not require GRE. And also you can find some information on our Instagram page as well, so you can check that out. Next, start putting together any essays that might be required. Uh, the most common one are what we call personal statements or the statement of purpose. Now I have a series of videos explaining how to write a winning statement of purpose on this channel and you can check the first uh, part of the video. Uh, you can check that out and uh, that video will be in the description below. And please when it comes to personal statements or any uh, template that I provide on this channel, do not copy and paste, do not plagiarize. I've made a video on how to use templates to write original documents, you know, to avoid plagiarism. Uh, that's one of the deadly uh, sins 
of academia so please do not do it so if you want to learn how to use templates to write original documents please watch uh, this video as well and i'm going to link that also in the description below now when you have all these documents put together and you have done some some of these exams or all of them um then is the time that you should start contacting professors okay um for the most part in most departments you would need to contact professors who might be willing to advise you before you get admitted and in some cases that is not required you will know which is required in your own case when you review the requirements on the department's webpage. Either way, if it's required or not, I always advise that you contact professors just you know, to get acquainted with the department, get yourself uh, a formal introduction because some of these professors will be important in selecting the candidates that will be admitted. So it's important that you introduce yourself to some of the professors in the department. Now, as you can imagine, this introduction is important and you don't want to screw it up. Um, so I've explained how to contact and impress professors on this channel. So you can check out that video and I have that in the description below as well. And just to circle back on funding, I have explained on this channel that there are basically three channels by which you can fund your master's or PhD in the United States. However, I cannot overstress the fact that when it comes to scholarships or fellowships, assistantships, what we call assistantships, are the most common way by which um, students fund their graduate studies in the United States. And most of the time, in order to get those kind of assistantships, uh, you need to email professors, uh, just like I've said earlier, and I've provided a lot of information on this channel on, on how to do that. So I would encourage that um, if you are looking for funding, you check out this module three that describes funding for masters and phd in the united states and if you are ever in doubt if these funding methods work you should check out our best man academy instagram page where we have a lot um, of um, evidence of people who have used some of these methods to get themselves funded for either a master's or a PhD in the United States. In many cases, um, departments would require you to appear for an interview either on campus or in most cases virtually. I have addressed what to expect in such grad school interviews and also the kind of questions you should expect and how to present yourself during the interview and also the questions that you should ask during the interview i've presented all that on this channel so you can check that out in the description below so after your interview and all this process of contacting professors and all what you should expect now is your admission letter and um, funding offer if you are so uh, qualified and for a lot of other process that will require you know travel or visa applications and all other process i have a lot of videos explaining that on this channel and if you don't see what you are looking for now that means that i'm still working on some of the videos so please subscribe to the channel and also I give out a lot of spontaneous information on the Best Man Academy Instagram page and the Facebook page. Sometimes I have periodic meetings or webinars with certain um, students. So if you want to get a clue of when the next one will be 
follow the best man academy instagram page which is where i disseminate that information so that is the whole process of getting admitted and funded into graduate degree programs in the united states now that you know this please if you are going to make a contact or a connection with us make sure you have gone through some of the process so that you can ask specific questions in other words questions like where should i start or how should i go about it will not fly anymore that's all i have for you i wish you all the best as you move forward in this process see you in the next video